Alright guys, we have arrived in Tokyo. We're currently at Ginza where we're staying and this is a street full of shops. The road is closed at the moment and this looks so cool. Huh? Don't open the street again, look how nice Ginza is at night time. This is day one in Tokyo. This is our rental car for Tokyo. We only got it for one day, a GR Yaris. Both Kieran and I never drive a GR Yaris, but it uh, should be good. So we just got the rental car, but bro, we spotted a 34. Millennium Jade R34 with Ganodols, disc fenders as well. Oh my God, T37s, everything. This is freaking, what a find. Wow, that's freaking mint, man. Oh my god, we, have to, we just had to pull over. What a start to the day, we saw a 34, Millennium Jade, so good. So today we are going around all the car shops in Tokyo, so Tsubota Backs, Spoon Garage, Up Garage, everything. So we're just gonna take you guys with us. And yeah, we got this car for a day. Kieran got a GR Yaris. How's it so far? <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. Anyone, huh? <laughs> it's automatic. But it's got power. Got some little power. The only thing is, it's a uh, two seater, so you just gotta set the back. Do you prefer this or the FK8? Oh, FK8 for sure. FK for sure? <laughs> That's the car so far. That's all right. It's not bad. What's it, what's it feel bit, like? Bit boring, you know. A bit boring. A bit boring. Need some, need some torque and some power and some sound exhaust. Overall, it's not bad for how much you paid for. Yeah. So yeah, back to you when you drive. Not me. <laughs> first things first. There's a Tesla with BBS. Looks like Apit's Super Autobax car. Not too sure. All right, we are at Odebax. So this is a car shop where they sell anything really. I'm here for the second hand parts, but I've seen online where they sell brand new parts and just, you know, your super cheap auto parts. Pretty big, pretty big. Oh, so much to check out, bro. <laughs> Little naughty steering wheels. Tien. Oh, so cool. Is there a chaser? <laughs> there's, there's an S15. That's pretty cool, 34. Is that a chaser? Hey. So that's a smaller version. Whoa. That, you think it's a chaser? You think? <laughs> Big JDM stickers. This is for learners. When you're a beginner driver in Japan. The shop is so big that they even have Starbucks in the store. Still on the first floor, there's a lot to check out. But yeah, you know, it's just a generic, like super cheap auto, auto barn, where they sell floor mats, See covers, they've got some mad keychains here like TRD, Mugen. They even have these on sale. They got Sharom's favorite section, the RGB lights. <laughs> my favorite section, Galaco. This is what I use for my windows instead of semi coating it. This acts like semi coat where the water just rushes off. I got the side mirror one too, but I haven't used it yet. This is cool. If you guys haven't checked out the video, I'll put it down below. We've got the cars that we already seen in the other shops. This is probably the easiest option if you want some hobby cars. Right, we're up to the second level. See what a 90 costs here, probably the same price. $605 for that front one. I'm talking AED. These are not cheap. They don't look second hand as well. This is $572 for deep corn. Oh, the one at the back is what I really want. That's $572. $520 if it's tax free, but still so expensive. They got boss kits that I do want again for the chaser. This is the Mugen section. Spoon steering wheel for $495. That's actually not bad. Oh yeah, you get a spoon. The car seats. Oh, ready. The one I'm most excited about is this HKS section. Let's see what they got. 86 motor. HKS, god damn, that's nice. Where's the merch? Oh, here it is. Ah, uh, stickers, lanyard, oh, lanyard, I might hit this up. 
So nice. Yep, I'm gonna grab two of these HKS lanyards. They even got a HKS bolt holder. Linda's shopping too, guys. What you got? Okay. Hello Kitty mask for $3 Hello Kitty mask Toyota Camry Like it looks like my dad's car right? It is your dad's car Yeah And yeah. you got a bunch of air fresheners Air fresheners I just got a bunch so that I can distribute to everyone Nice See what I got so far HKS air freshener These two HKS collectibles HKS lanyards Pod filter pillow <laughs> Since we came by HKS in Odebax don't think it's necessary for me to go down to HKS workshop. It would be nice, but we'll just make our trip a bit shorter. Yeah, HKS, that's what I was keen for here. God damn it, I thought this was $10. It's actually 101 But this is the same gear knob I have on the Chaser TRD section. How did I miss this? Oh, this is what they put on the side of their chasers on the door. TRD. $33, but $30 if it's tax free. Oh, it looks good. But I might have to let this go. All right, that is a pit Odebax. It's actually called Super Odebax. For some reason, this is called A Pit Odebax. I'm not too sure. But yeah, it's a good shop. Now we're going to Spin Garage. There is also another one called Auto One. I'm not sure. Oh, look at EK. Oh, it's EK. I missed it. Okay, we're here. See, the other shop was just an office. This is the main one. Type One. This is the workshop. And they're saying showroom is upstairs. First thing we see is the FL5. Yo, look at this EK9. So clean. Didn't notice that this FK is actually a left hand drive. Spoon steering wheel, Sparco seats, full cage. Oh, look at this little thing. <laughs> That's cute. Lunch break, boneless chickens, eating some stick. I got my tuna mayo. I'm getting sick of these. Being in Japan for a while, I get, kind of get over it. And you got cups. All right, so this is Linda's breakfast or lunch hack that she found online. So here we have original family chicken, egg salad, and hash brown from Family Mart. The hash brown is usually always sold out, so it's quite rare to have it available to make it a combo. This is the egg if you guys are wondering. It's just this egg it's salad. It's the basic one. Yeah. It's pretty good. But this bonus chicken that I just had as well is bomb. I was just having a bite at Family Mart and I don't know, in the corner of my eye I just saw this car. I was like, crap. Guys, look what we spot. Mazda FD RX7, just at home. Looks like it's in stock form as well, bro. Yo. God, that is... That was a mad find. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I sp didn't spot a chaser or anything else. I spotted an FD RX7. Is that meant to be, guys? Ah, uh, is it for sale? It just looks like it's just been sitting here. It's manual. <sighs> ah, so cool. Is that a sign to get an FD RX7? No, I can't even afford it. Now it's time to drive down Naraway to our first up garage ever. <laughs> to up garage and this is the first thing I see oh my god stands out mark 2 dang R32 just got on by holy sh before we even go into the shop this is what I spotted got Evo 10 in his parking lot 350Z 
S15 with the white guards in the rear. So special to see these in Japan. It's not the same, it's really different. S14 it looks so stanced out. Oh my god, that's so low. Oh wow. S14 is crazy. Lots and lots of car spots today. To start off with, we had an R34 and then we had an RX7 and so many more cars. But stay tuned because tonight there will be a lot more cars to see. This is the R32 we just spotted. Oh, it's so cool with the upgarage sign. We're about to go into one of the biggest upgarages in Tokyo. I'm about to go into the first upgarage in my life. This is my first time in Japan and I made sure we're going in and checking out upgarage. Pretty sure you guys have seen many YouTubers come here. So there's suspension, exhaust, trying to look for parts for the chaser, but I just don't know what I'll find. It really depends on my luggage space and budget. All these headlights, brakes, pretty much parts that are dismantled from the previous car. Bunch of strut bars. This is a bullet strut bar. Don't know what car. $95. Blue Brides for $800 AD. Let's sew on it. Or SR3s? SR3s for $369. What the hell is that? It's a baby seat. Look how worn out this blue Recaro seats are. It's from a Subaru STI. $639. I'd rather get this. The difference between auto backs and up garage. If you don't know up garage, it's basically all these second hand parts dismantled from the car. So if you go to a wrecker in Australia, usually it's on car and you gotta part it out. But in up garage, everything's pretty much dismantled for you and ready for you to just take home. This is all second hand, second hand prices. Sometimes you can find rare parts and that's what we're here for. Sometimes it's just a miss. So hopefully you find something in this big up garage. I want a naughty steering wheel. S14, <laughs> the GR Yaris. What did they sign this for? 359 AD. These are all the stockies. Oh, S15 steering wheels. 239 AD. Nothing really sparks my. Oh, this is a Momo for $69. That's cheap. We got this old school Momo. This is $149. Crazy. Sparko, Fast and Furious boys. $199. S15 side mirrors for $319. Toyota AE86 side mirrors for $459. Oh my god, I didn't expect to see VIP tables here. <laughs> what? They got a bunch of valve caps, dice valve caps. Nice. Nothing I'd buy at the moment though. Chaser Series 2 tail lights for $359. Decent price. And then you got the JZ80. MK4 Supras Could not find anything in this up garage for the Chaser or the Honda But I might get little accessories here and there But yeah, it's just interesting to see up garage in person And yeah, it's been an experience There's a lot going on outside, there's a lot of cars coming in and out um, Kind of sad I didn't find a steering wheel for the car But yeah, maybe next time There's this dealership across the road I'm not sure if it's a part of up garage But they got some sick cars Gonna check that out. Mazda, WRX, 350Z, the 14 grand. Let's cut to the chase, because I really want to see this chaser in the showroom. Oh, Series 2. Whoa, it's got that front lip. Series 2 chaser. Manual, Series 2. Holy crap. Even the boots, like, no spoiler holes, anything. 040 white, it's super clean. I can make it this clean. It's got sunroof as well, boys. Everything you want in a chaser. Series 2, sunroof, OFO white, stock body, fresh and clean. The chaser is 27 grand. It's got 209,000 Ks. That's so cheap for a Series 2 with a sunroof. A90 for 49 grand. And oh my god, get the A90, man. The 11, 39 grand for this. 8.6. Hardly see these in Australia. I would get one and drift it. If only it wasn't this expensive, I know I still have this as my drift car. I think this is part of up garage sales, but if you guys have a chance to come in Japan, definitely check it out. This is so cool. I had never seen a chaser in a dealership before. And of course, check out the big up garage. There aren't parts for the chaser, unfortunately. Maybe next time, 
but it was worth the check. That's my first up garage in Japan, in Tokyo. What's in the parking lot again? Oh my god. This is sick. So small. <laughs> Use Luna size comparison. <laughs> this is so clean. So much going on. We're so clean. Alright, what's this? See that? What's going on? Alright, that was a funny experience. So, he told me to turn off the engine and, and basically go when I'm ready. Whoa, it's going down. Cool. <laughs> we have made it to Nissan HQ in Yokohama. This reminds me of the motor show. Don't see this anymore. It's a 32. R35 So nice I'm just gonna do a little walk around and just try to show you guys this Nissan HQ It's crazy, no car on it Just the motor Damn Damn, that's sick You can literally change gears That's so cool So you can get in the 35 It's like a Tesla Wow, look at the interior, it's so blue. See the 35? It's so pretty. It's so light blue and No, 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 don't press start. <laughs> you would. Man, I want to drive a 35 one day. This interior is pretty luxury. Feels very sporty. You want to get on the 400Z? Yeah, that's good. This is the car you want. You want a 400Z. Feels like the 370Z? Yeah, it feels like a car. You suit it. I feel so short. <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> I need cushions. I'm glad there's no back seat though. Yeah. This is actually not too bad. This showroom reminds me of the car show we used to have in Australia where you can just start out the new cars and get in. So it puts the ticket in after I paid and then I guess it's the car number and then we'll see the car probably coming up. There's our car, boys. Yes. <laughs> wow, that's a guy. We're currently on the way. Oh, we're pretty much here now. And uh, yeah, we're here at Daigoku. We've been wanting to come here for a long time. So today's the day that we finally get to see this in person. Hopefully to see all JDM cars and yeah, see what we got. The roads here are insane. It felt like maximum tune. We got Kieran driving like a maniac. But it actually feels like maximum tune. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? Is that a parking area? Locked off? Ooh, police. That was the way in, right? Damn. So the police blocked yeah. off. I don't think that Goku's happening tonight, boys. Bow, bow. <laughs> Freaking womp womp and a half, bro. This time was cool though. What the hell is this? So, yeah, that Goku is closed off. But it is a Friday night right now. It's around 9.30. So we're gonna head off to another underground car park. Hope to find cars there. later oh it's you it's you cuz oh shit oh Kieran's about to get pulled over right now god damn so we spotted that Subaru and uh, we got too happy all right let's have a go boys 
not sure about this one. Come in aside. Come in aside. I got the pajamas. Yo, Kieran just got to let go. <laughs> oh, that's an experience and a memory in the books. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Pretty, pretty car. Okay, let's see if this car park has any cars. Right now, it's an R33. Um, it's actually 10.48 right now. We got lost like four times on the highway. Yeah. I said 10.48. We got lost like 10 times. Oh, so <laughs> I miscounted. We, lost, we got lost like 10 times apparently. So, we're here at the car park. That Goku was a complete fail. It was a Civic. Hey bro, do you know if, do you know if there was any cars down there? Shit, are you looking around for like mates right now? Well, we're gonna leave the car here overnight because there's no parking in the hotel. Yep, it's an L, guys. Today did not go as planned. Well, tonight did not go as planned. Uh, the walk of shame, but we tried. We went to Daigoku and it was closed off by police. We went to the car park and also no cars there. Except for the 33, we spotted them, but they were from New Zealand. They actually rented that car. They went to another place that had cars, but it was just too far away, half an hour away from where we are right now in Ginza. Today we went around to the biggest car garages. Sorry to uh, give you guys blue balls. We didn't get to see the little car meet tonight, but at least we spotted some cars and uh, got pulled over and spotted some cars on the way. We just ordered a bagged Honda. Let's see. I'll show you guys. It's freaking nice. Holy sh! Holy sh! Look at that. It's freaking slammed. So slammed. Looks like a rental. Yeah, it is. Wow, sounds good, huh? Hi guys, there you have it, Tokyo, Japan. This is our first trip in Japan and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Hopefully next time we come back to Japan, we will be doing more car stuff and drifting. We're currently at Shibuya crossing and it's crazy. So, all right, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.